Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. I've been wanting to do this video for a while now but I waited because May is Eller Stanwell's Awareness Month so now is the time. Gotta spread that awareness. So what exactly is Eller Stanwell's? Um, well it's a connective tissue disorder and what that means is um, you if you have it you most likely have a problem with your collagen and um, collagen is in all of your connective tissue and that would be ligaments, tendons, and other structures that basically hold everything in place. So um, most of us have the hypermobile um, Ehlers-Daniels because there's, there's different um, subsets and so hyper hypermobility is one of them but 95% of the people with EDS have the hypermobile variety and so that tends to give us very lax joints and some people are are so laxed where they are um, having um, dislocations you know it, that can be on a daily basis and it's terrible and it's painful and um, yeah some some do I don't you know I'm very grateful for that um, my story is maybe a little different from um, some that you will see here on YouTube and one of the main differences is that I'm older I've noticed um, a lot of the videos are with younger people and I think it's awesome that they are getting diagnosed at a young age because then they can you know swiftly get into some kind of treatment but on the other hand I almost feel like um, it's, it's too bad that I see these young people being diagnosed because that means that they already have some pretty hardcore symptoms and that's rough I didn't start really getting symptoms until my mid 30s I was around 35 when um, I started getting a lot of pain um, before that I may have had some symptoms with certain joints but it wasn't anything I was overly concerned about but after age of 35 I started having a lot of widespread pain and in Ellers Daniels you end up with a lot of pain because it's not just your joints anymore um, you know you end up with a lot of soft tissue or muscle pain because things aren't lined up the way they're supposed to be it stresses all of your muscles and it stresses all of those structures that are trying to um, make up for where it's lacking elsewhere you know what I mean so yeah you end up with a lot of pain and um, you can also end up with a lot of injuries um, and then also um, a lot of times you can get other other diseases offshoots from it like um, I have really bad GERD and that's directly linked to the EDS because um, you know the flap they talk about that keeps your um, stomach contents in where it's supposed to be so that it doesn't come up uh, mine is weakened and so um, it doesn't work the way it's supposed to 
and that in turn has given me, you know, really bad GERD. And, you know, there's other symptoms as well. But um, I, like many other people with EDS, went from doctor to doctor to doctor trying to find out what was wrong with me. It takes years. For me, it took 15 years to get a diagnosis. But even then, I was grateful to have the diagnosis, but I didn't really get any help because very few doctors know about this. Um, I was diagnosed by a rheumatologist and I had already seen a rheumatologist before that along with other doctors. And um, he tested me like another one for Lyme disease, um, hepatitis C, lupus, and fibro and um, came back with no you know it's it's none of those things and you know of course I was I was really disheartened to hear that yet again but then he said uh, he was checking my fingers because of arthritis in my hands and um, he realized one of them bent really far and uh, there is a test, it's called a Baton scale, or Biton, and it basically goes over how different joints in your body are lax, you know, double jointed. How far can you bend them? And um, I passed <laughs> with flying colors. But then um, he also told me, well, your primary can take care of this. You don't need to see me anymore. See ya. And my primary had no idea what he was talking about. And so pretty much did nothing. And um, yeah, I pr I've pretty much been in limbo land since then. I eventually changed to a different primary, but that hasn't made a whole lot of difference. Um, because most of these doctors don't know what they're dealing with, um, they just treat symptoms which in and of itself isn't all that bad but you know you just go from let's deal with this right here with this symptom and get that under control and then wait and then oh this symptom pops up let's deal with that and so it can get a little bit frustrating you know um trying to tell people about it um just trying to live with it, you know, um, besides the pain, the fatigue is horrible. Um, EDS is one of those disorders, diseases that is invisible, like so many chronic illnesses are. And people look fine on the outside most of the time. Um, you might see them wearing a neck brace. You might see them wearing, a lot of times I'm wearing uh, wrist braces or ankle braces or whatever, but I don't wear them every day. And so I think sometimes people are confused by that. Um, I try to explain as easily as I can to people about what's going on with me, but um, I guess in a way I don't want to, you know, be the bummer of the group or whatever and um, I don't want to be defined by it, but yet people need to know because there's sometimes when I can't do certain things because of it, um, even social gatherings. I can't stay as long as everyone else can um, and I, I can't do a whole lot of physical things because of it. And so um, I do need people to know, but um, it's, it is, it's just a, a very difficult situation, especially, um, especially when you are older. And like I said, you, you can't really see a difference in the person, you know, until or unless they're really disabled. And that's a shame, you know, um, I feel like the older people affected by it aren't necessarily represented as well 
anywhere in social media. And I don't know if that's because um, there aren't a lot of older people with it, but I, I tend to believe more that um, older people tend to keep things more to themselves. And so I just wanted to let people out there know that there's someone here you can talk to, you can share your experiences with. Um, I'm going to make a follow-up video because there's so much to cover in this subject. Um, but if you do have it, or you're interested in it, or you know somebody with it, please leave a comment below uh, with any questions you may have about something maybe you would want me to cover in an upcoming video, because I will. Um, like I said, there's, there's, it's so involved, you know, that um, there's a lot we need to talk about, basically. And I just wanted to throw out this video real quick, just to let you guys know, just to bring awareness to hypermobile EDS. It's out there. There's people who are suffering with it every day. And um, we just need to know about it. We need to know about these people. Maybe we can help them in some way or another. Anyhow, thanks for watching, you guys. I really do appreciate it. It was nice talking to you. And you, take care.